Here we go. Change the logos and we're in. G2 versus Fnatic. I mean, I think G2 will win, but who knows? Quirky first pick. Okay, G2 really want to win, guys. They really, really want to win. Question that you're you're asking yourself is, are you going to see a Gangplank taken for Fnatic? You go Viego here. Okay. Gangplank taken. Wow, they just locked in Twitch, bro. This is the fastest draft of all time. Holy. G2 already can't lose late with their picks. Yeah, I mean, I think the problem that they're going to run into here is that from what it seems right now, it doesn't look like they have much like playmaking potential. So they've multiple lanes that just want to farm and they have nothing to really play around in the early game which normally makes the game pretty difficult all right who did you guys predict you guys went g2 i'm gonna go fanatic i'm gonna believe in fanatic for no reason i'll believe in fanatic for zero reason i just have a feeling i don't even think that fanatic's one draft i just have a feeling that g2 is gonna struggle with nothing to play around orin okay trundle is so good now oh bro that's the one champion that makes trundle super good okay the hilly zillion Hilly Zillion is actually normally pretty good. Okay, it's winnable. It's winnable. Who wins draft? I mean, in like the practical sense, you'd say G2 wins draft. But actually, like, I think Fnatic has a chance. Wait, BB is actually in really bad position here. This this could be a kill. Yeah, he's dead. He didn't get the wave in either. This is actually really, really bad for BB. Actually, no, he got the wave in. Never mind. The wave ended up crashing because of the gank. He can TP now. He's got Sheen, but I think Wonder's happy with that. Both people have flash, though. Maybe he's playing so bad lately. Yeah, he's not playing the best, but I mean, like, yesterday's game was not his fault. He just was completely doomed. Wait, is Yanko supposed to be fighting this? This seems really grief. Is Yanko's not inting? I think Yanko's is just running it. I think Yanko's is just reported. I mean, I guess, okay. Like, he flashed, but he got the the Wraith. I guess that's okay. Oh, Hilly's doing his thing. Yeah. Wraith's arc should just be going for crab. Pretty good for Hilly to do this, though. He freezes the wave, and then, like, Flockhead and Target Bus kind of have to back, but then their wave is just... So, you have a couple options here. One of them is you do Drake. The other one is you farm your camps. I think farming your camps is better. Looks like he's going to do Drake here. I personally like uh, just farming Gromp and, and Wolves this early. Because, like, this could get really f***ing ugly if you get contested. Like, if Yankos goes to Drake and you're getting slowed by Ocean and your bot lane actually can't contest, it could be really f***ing ugly. But it looks like it's going to be fine here. So, this ends up being a good play. Wonder has a uh, flash here. Should be okay. Never mind, he's not okay. Actually, he's fine. He's fine. He should be, he should be fine. Yeah, he's fine. Yankos is no red spite. He's no flash. Yankos is dead here, I think, actually. Yeah, he's dead. Might even get BB's flash. would be huge. Yeah, BB's dead. Damn, Razor. Holy. Fanatic. They're playing it. It's not completely over. Game is not completely over. There is Zeri, Corky, GP on one side, but I think Fnatic is definitely getting ahead enough that they're in a pretty good spot. So what Razor does is really smart here. He levels up and he, he levels up his, his ult before he actually takes the corpse. Because if he doesn't do that, then he actually doesn't get the ult. He's, he like can't tra transfer out, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you get locked out if you're level five and you you even if you hit level six, if you don't level up your ult until you have the soul, I think it's, it's over. Also, isn't G2 just inting here? Oh, Razor got it. Razor won the spike. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. It's a complete nightmare. Got the uh, revive here too. Oh, it's so horrible. So horrible for G2. Thank you. Oh, that's huge, bro. He gave a shutdown. That's really, really big. That's massive. Red buff goes to uh, BB as well. BB's able to slow them. They're kiting it out for, for right now pretty well. Ends up being one for one, but Razor gives a pretty big shutdown. That that's not good for Fnatic. That's pretty rough. Wow, bro! Wonder is playing so well here. Wonder is playing so well. 
So what Fnatic should be trying to do here is either get package out by like just trying to just use like a, a standard ability to get it out, like just charm or something. Or what they should be trying to do is they should just be waiting out package. And the, what, Ra what Fnatic need to do here is not prioritize the Drake. They should be prioritizing getting a good fight because the Drake actually doesn't matter for G2 to get. So Fnatic here, they just need to, they need to focus on the fight. Targamas went way too deep. Targamas went way too deep. Yankos is dead. Targamas is dead too. Flaggin should just be 100% dead. Could be Baron here. Too much chasing, I think, but like a little bit over chase from upset. I don't think he needed to chase caps there. Sued by G2, just get out. Yeah, but they're in a really bad position there anyway. Like even if they just get out, like Fnatic should be able to trade for like, I mean, if Fnatic walked to Baron, I think it's kind of doomed for the enemy team. Ooh, Rangos is dead again. He should just die here. Oh, maybe he's not dead. Razork, Razork, just leave, bro. Please just leave. Razork. Okay, okay, we have TP. I just think this is really unnecessary. I just don't like this, these types of fights, but I guess it's fine. It, I guess it's good. With the TP, it's good. It just looks like so risky to go for this fight because you're sitting on so much gold. You just want to fight. You have Baron. There's gold all over the place. Like, Razork is sitting on like two and a half, three 3k gold or something. And then Twitch has gold. Like, everyone just has gold. And I just don't want to see them throw with Baron. I would have to look through champion list. I don't know what the best champion for... Um, or G2 would have been. Maybe it is Trundle, to be honest. You don't want AP because you have already Zary and Corky. Udyr, you don't want too much magic damage. But I mean, I think that this is like kind of like when you know that your draft is bad. I mean, maybe you just go Belveth, honestly. You probably just go Belveth and then try to just... Yeah, sacrifice like early Herald to do Drake or something like that. What do you think about Shivana jungle in general? I mean, it's good if your team doesn't hit the game before you hit level five. Oh, Wonder kind of griefed. Dude, they need to get out of here. Fnatic just really... I don't I don't understand why Fnatic is here. Like, why are they here? They have no... Uh, whatever, man. They, they have no Twitch ult. Oh, my God. Wonder is inting. They should just go soul, but now they're... Oh, whatever, bro. It's so annoying. They have no Twitch ult, so they can't fight, but then they just, like, are perma trying to fight. And they use, like, stopwatches. Like, Wonder loses his life. Like, it's just so... Un it's just so annoying. All right, let's see it. Okay, he's flashing forward. Targum should die as well. W. Oh, okay, Razork. Wait. Razork smurfed it. All right. Kind of smurfed it. It's a hella annoying way to play. Dude, that's that's what I mean. It's just, it's like, it's disconcerting to see them finish the game like this when they have free soul. Like, Twitch ultimate is on cooldown. They got the bot turret. Like, they, they broke open the base. They can just wait until next Twitch ult timer, and then they win super hard. Oh, Hilly just inted into the fountain and made sure he ended with a death, by the way. I respect that. All right.